Shalom Aleichem, everyone. Today is uh, the day before the holiday of Hanukkah, 5781. We're going to be celebrating Hanukkah 2020. And it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful holiday wherever we are and wherever we're going to celebrate. Today, the topic that we're going to be speaking about is the concept of, is Judaism about the crowd or is Judaism about the individual? You know, in Judaism, we have Torah study halls, Bate Medrash. We have Bate Knesiot, houses of prayer. We have community centers. And then, then there's the individual person. What is Judaism quintessentially all about? Is it about the development of the individual or is it about the community? Is it about the masses, the nation of Israel? Am Yisrael. And I'd like to propose an answer to this question. But first, have you ever read the box that your soap comes in? Have you ever read the instructions on how they use the soap? Or how about your shampoo bottle? Do you know that your soap box, many of them actually say, to lather and then wash off with a lot of water? Do you need that information? Are you using the soap correctly? I mean, are we? Are we using the soap as we're having the water washed down our body? Or do we put the soap on and then wash off the water? Is there a correct or incorrect way to use a bar of soap? How about the shampoo? Did you ever notice that some of the shampoos, it actually says that when you complete the use of the shampoo, you should actually wash your hair with cold water. And why cold water? Because in fact, that helps maintain the moisture inside your hair particles, inside the strands of hair on your body. Very interesting to note that some things in life we take for granted, or quite simply, but in fact, when you just go a little bit deeper, you find that there's actually tremendous depth. Judaism, Hanukkah, is included in this. What do I mean? You see, everybody knows that the holiday of Hanukkah includes, of course, lighting the Hanukkah menorah. Mine is set up already for a week. I'm so excited about Hanukkah, right? Everybody knows that there's a dreidel that we play with, right? The sivivon. Everybody knows about the jelly donut. Everybody knows about the latkes, foods that are made with oil to commemorate the miracle of oil in the holiday of Hanukkah. But there are, in fact, many, many hidden subliminal messages that are really not so subliminal and not so hidden if you study, if you open up the Talmud, or you open up the Medrash, or in fact, you open up many English books on the holiday of Hanukkah. This is what I speak of. One of those ideas is the answer to this question, if Judaism is about the individual or if Judaism is about the crowd. You see, something very interesting about Judaism, and there is an extensive talk of the Lubavitcher Rebbe on this idea from actually this season, the 19th day of the month of Kislev, in 1961. And in this talk, the Rebbe talks about the idea of the individual Jew. What does this mean? You see, if you open up the Code of Jewish Law, or you open up the books that speak about the 613 commandments in Judaism, we find something fascinating. Listen up. You know what this is? This is the idea that most of the mitzvahs in the Torah are, in fact, individually based mitzvahs. For example, if I'm going to grow a beard, that's a mitzvah of the Torah, not to shave a beard. If I'm going to wear a kippah, that's a sign of faith. In fact, according to some commentaries, it's a biblical commandment. If I wear tzitzit, the four-cornered garment with the strings, that's an individual mitzvah. Think about it. If I live home alone and I have mezuzahs on my apartment door and I don't have guests, that's an individual mitzvah. If I light the Hanukkah menorah at home alone, that is an individual mitzvah. It is a mitzvah that is not about the masses. I don't need to go to synagogue. I don't need to go to a study hall. I don't need to go to a Jewish community center. In fact, if you pay attention to most of the mitzvahs in the Torah, they are, in fact, individually based mitzvahs. Did you know that the holiday of Hanukkah, the word Hanukkah, 
besides for the holiday that it is and what we celebrate and things we just spoke of, actually is the same term as chinuch, which means education. Chanukah and chinuch. To establish, to rectify, to inaugurate, and to educate. Very interesting idea. How does one educate someone? You see, there's two ways to educate. Just like there's two ways to practice a mitzvah. One is to just do it. I light the menorah, I eat the jelly donut, I eat the latka, I spin the dreidel, and Hanukkah is celebrated. Or there's kavana, intention in the mitzvah. There's more to the mitzvah than what I think. And what is this? What is there more to the mitzvah of Hanukkah than just doing the acts of Hanukkah? The answer is education. And there are two ways to education. One is by telling people what to do, by teaching people. The other is by leading by example. If I have a beard, if I wear a kippah, if I dress proper, if I wear tzitzit, and I don't tell anyone about it, but I act like a mensch, I act like a Jew, I behave kindly and generously and nicely and respectfully, and people see this, they sense that sense of commitment and devotion and sincerity, sincerity and devotion, that automatically will relay the feeling onto somebody else. It will pass over that idea to somebody else. You can educate in one way by teaching and telling or by leading, living by example, and quite frankly, rubbing off on other people. You understand what I'm saying? Hanukkah is this idea precisely, even though it's true that it's very much about the individual. And so even if you're home alone due to COVID or any other reason or any other time of year, and the mitzvahs need to be done alone, number one, you could be affecting people in your own home. If you light a menorah, maybe somebody else will light a menorah. Maybe a neighbor will come over and they'll see it and you don't have to tell them anything. Oh, it's Hanukkah. Oh, I see your menorah. How could I get a menorah? You see how that works? One of the places where we could place the menorah is either by the doorpost opposite the mezuzah or by the window. If you have people in your home, putting it by the doorpost is wonderful because you'll be bringing that mitzvah to those in your home. And if you don't, you have the option to put it by the window so people outside could see the menorah. You don't have to tell them. You don't have to teach them. You just do it. And automatically it shows up in other people's minds. That is the beauty of Judaism. Ultimately, it is about the individual. Ultimately, it is about the person, the Jew. But what ends up happening is the individual, the Jew, shows up, lightens up the world around them and brings that individual beauty, that individual character development, that devotion and sincerity shows up by others. That's the story, and this is the story of Hanukkah. Education. You see the Hashmanayim, right? The Hasmonians, the Maccabees, the great warriors. Do you know who they were? They were the great sages of the time. In fact, it's called Bet Din Hashmanayim. If you open up the Medrash and you open up the Talmud, the Hashmanayim were called the Rabbinate. They were actually the sages. They were the rabbis. They were the judges, the Dayanim in the times of the Temple. Could you imagine? Yochanan Kohen Gadol, all the other people, all the Hashmanayim, the children, the family, the brothers, the friends, this army were sages. They were teachers. They were educators. The story of Hanukkah is all about teachers. The story of Hanukkah is all about education. It's all about chinuch. But you see, there's two ways to educate. One is to teach. One is to tell. One is to speak. Like the holiday of Passover. Tell it to your children. You see, the holiday of Hanukkah is about showing it. But having depth. Understanding the depth appreciating it, being sincere about it, being devoted and committed, and that will in eventually have its effect on others. I wish you all a beautiful Hanukkah. I wish you all a bright and festive Hanukkah. 
but also a deep and meaningful Hanukkah, wherever you are, for the nation of Israel and for the individual you, the Jew.